Hey Cancer, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. Thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I do appreciate it. All right, let's jump right into this. Okay, Cancer, this is your reading. It's for anyone with cancer placements or it's for anyone else who's guided to watch the cancer reading for whatever reason that they're guided here. Um, it's for the week, but it's also a reading that could resonate any day, week, month, or year that you're guided to see it. Sometimes we're guided for different reasons. I say whenever you're guided is when you are meant to see it. All right, so let's, and I feel that way about all readings, honestly. Let's get into it. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good, what do we need to know about this cancer reading? This reading's for anyone who's guided, whenever they're guided. What are the most important messages we have for the people who need the messages the most? Please allow me to connect with as many people as possible and to deliver the, the messages as accurately as possible to the people that need them the most. All right, I feel one more shuffle cancer reading. All right, let's do it. All right, let's take a look at the energy surrounding cancer. What do we need to know? Or anyone else who's guided to watch the cancer reading? Beautiful Queen of Wands. I love the Queen of Wands in this deck. It's gorgeous. You could be dealing with a Leo or this could be your energy coming through. Wow, Ace of Swords. Gorgeous. What else? the world wow your reading so far is gorgeous cancer what else queen of wands ace of swords the world beautiful knight of cups oh my gosh ace of pentacles what else right under the ace of swords is the ace of pentacles this is beautiful reading one more card for cancer please nope that's too many just one oh wow i want to see that these are what flipped over. This is unbelievable. Unbelievable. You got the King of Cups, the Six of Wands, and the Wheel of Fortune. I was going to shove them back because it was too, we don't normally take this many, but some readings we do. I'm taking them. Look at this reading. Here you are. King of Cups. You can also be the Queen of Cups. Doesn't matter. Dealing with a fire sign, no doubt. No doubt. You have Unless you are a cusper, you could be a Cancer Leo cusper. But look at the Leo energy coming through in this reading. Queen of Cups, Six of Wands, some kind of victory. The wheel is turning, the karmic wheel. I feel like you, and look, not only the wheel, but the world. I feel like you've completed a major cycle in your life. Like huge, Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. I mean, it doesn't get any better than this. Knight of Cups. I don't even know what to say about this reading. And every one of these cards came out in the upright. That is so rare. Bottom of the deck. We have the death card reverse, the knight of pentacles, and the five of swords reverse, nine of swords reverse, the moon, nine of cups. I feel, oh, wow, absolutely. Look at this. I just want you to see this. The Four of Wands, the Ten of Cups, and the Nine of Cups. It's like total wish fulfillment for everything. And look how beautiful and romantic the moon is in this deck. This is, I'm sorry, this is Crystal Vision's deck. Beautiful deck. Coming out of stress, no longer feeling backstabbed. Your knight is coming in with the pentacle and the cup. This person wants, um, they want commitment with you but they want it to be stability and the whole the whole deal um we have the death card in reverse this has been stuck for a while i don't know why it's coming in now or about to come in for you let's find out um so this person could be a scorpio um this person could be an aries leo or sagittarius all right, let's get into it. Spirit and angels, anyone for, or it could be another Cancer or, or a Pisces. Could be, could be. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good. What do we need to know about this reading? What do we need to know? What are the most important messages we have for the people that need them the most? Cancer reading for anyone with Cancer placements. What do we need to know? Cancer reading. Cancer. Who are the people talking outside my window? Hold on one sec. Okay, so sorry you guys. Um, so weird. Um, 
I don't know why, but my neighbors all of a sudden like to all stand out in my backyard and talk, which is so weird. Like they have their own backyards. Um, but I don't mind at all because I love my neighbors. But <laughs> I just think it's so funny that they stand right outside my office um, and chit chat. I don't know if they just want me to come out and chit chat with them, which is possible because we all get along great. We have a great, great community. Anyway, but I think it's so funny how, like, my house has become the gathering spot, and I'm stuck in here working. Anyway, <laughs> it's just funny. All right, so here we go. Spirit and angels, anyone, for the highest good. What do we need to know about this reading? What's most important here? I want to know more about... Um, Let's talk about this King of Cups with all this victory. It's like King of Cups, Six of Wands, Wheel of Fortune. I mean, it's you guys. You are the Cancers. Um, King, Queen, doesn't matter to me. Tell me about this King of Cups, Six of Wands, and Wheel of Fortune. What do we need to know about it? It's so amazing and so awesome. What is this energy? Why is the Six of Wands here with the Wheel of Fortune, with the King of Cups? What is important here that we need to know? There's like a victory. It's almost as if um, water and fire are having a victory together of some sort. We're walking away from the emotional baggage again. Look, didn't we have that back here? I don't know why I felt like we had that back here. No, oh, I don't know. I don't know why I thought this was here already. This, um, I don't know. But um, we've got it here. We've got the Eight of Cups and we have the Nine of Wands. We have the Wounded Warrior um, who is very successful at whatever it is they're defending or doing here, right? Um, and walking away from anything that's been emotionally um, traumatizing in any way or upsetting in any way and turning that wheel. This is a victory, so no matter how I look at this, we're leaving behind the emotional baggage. We're no longer feeling like the wounded warrior. We feel like this successful warrior who has battled whatever they needed to battle and come out successful. Uh, wheel turns. It's beautiful. It truly is beautiful energy. Let's look at the Queen of Wands. Why is Queen of Wands up here? What do we need to know? Queen of Wands. What's important? Cancer reading. Oh, okay. Well, the Queen of Wands could be someone who lied because um, it's reversed, but the truth comes out because here it is in the upright. So even though they look the same, this one's actually reversed. As you see, it should be like this, but it's not, okay, with the Queen of Wands. This Queen of Wands, who could also be a King of Wands, lied, and the truth's coming out. And this is ending the cycle. So this is how you end up winning. Um, whatever this is they lied about put you under a lot of stress. Might have even had you like feeling imprisoned in some way. Tell me about the Ace of Swords here. Some kind of truth comes out in this matter. What is the Ace of Swords in the upright? This is the upright. And that upright Ace of Swords looks like it has the phoenix on the end of it here. This almost looks like the phoenix rising from the ashes. And look at the transformation of butterflies everywhere. It's beautiful. Tell me about this gorgeous Ace of Swords here in the upright. Oh, I'm so sorry. This was Taramuka, if I didn't say that. Taramuka. Ace of Swords, what do we need to know? Yep, Nine of Pentacles. Ooh, look at that high vibration energy. Yeah, someone who um, is detaching from the devil. Why? Because the truth came out, Queen of Swords. Some truth came out and detached you from some somebody. I feel like that devil is a fire sign. I feel like it could be a feminine, but it could be a masculine. Um, Leo comes through very strongly in this reading. Could be Aries, could be Sagittarius. But anyway, whatever happens here causes you to get out of your stress, feel into, like you're in this warrior energy, very high vibration. Um, because whatever truth comes out, whether it's you get to speak the truth about the lie that they told or whether the truth comes out by other means. Tell me about, um, tell me about the Knight of Cups. What about this Knight of Cups? What do we need to know? Knight of, of Cups. Cancer reading. Why is the Nine of Cups, in, or I'm sorry, Knight of Cups involved? Cancer reading. Why is the Knight of Cups involved? Queen of Cups. She's reversed. Why is, and the Knight of Cups reversed tried to come out a second ago too. Why is Queen of Cups reversed here with the Knight of Cups? Why is Queen of Cups in the reverse? Oh, wow. She was betrayed. 
uh, five of swords. Somebody took, um, somebody took advantage of the cancer who would see the cancer's coming through king and queen of cups here, either, or doesn't matter or both. I don't know. Someone took advantage of the queen of cups, which is why she's emotionally, um, spent, but is someone coming in to make this right? Tell me more about why the knight of cups in the upright is here. Or was this Knight of Cups the one that took advantage of her, which is possible? Could have been a Scorpio. I feel like this could have been a Scorpio. Doesn't have to be, of course. Tell me about this Knight of Cups. Why is it here for the Cancer reading? Or is this someone coming in to make something right? Just one or two. That's too many. Is Who is the Knight of Cups and what is he doing in this reading? Ooh! chariot okay well this is your forward movement all right so after you were left for dead basically i mean oh i don't know why i thought this was five of swords it's actually ten of swords you literally were left for dead you're coming out of this you're moving forward you've overcome all of this this is your forward movement as the knight of cups um you have gone from being completely devastated completely drained completely hurt five cups um, somebody really did hurt you. Somebody really did do you dirty, but you've risen like the Phoenix from the ashes. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles. What do we need to know? Ace of Pentacles, the magician and the hermit. You've manifested your own Ace of Pentacles and look at how the, so we got the magician who's working on manifesting, right? And we got the hermit who's gone within to internally um, look at things from, um, look at things, people, places, things, themselves. Where am I going? What am I doing? What path am I going to take? It's a real quiet internal time. But while you were in it, you were manifesting and you manifested in the Ace of Pentacles and the ace of swords it's really beautiful this you come out of this hermit energy and you blossom like a it's like like a flower like this lotus flower birthing the world that's what you're like you're like like being rebirthed here because someone really did do you dirty here i want a little more information on the ace of swords reverse can we get a little information on this ace of swords in the reverse what is this about what do we need to know about it what's most important what do we need to know ace of swords in the reverse oh the page of swords in the upright so the truth comes out all right, so regardless of the Ace of Swords reverse, the Page of Swords in the upright says it doesn't matter because the truth is coming out. Hold on, guys. I'm dropping stuff. Okay, so can we get one more card on the Ace of Swords in the reverse? Why is it here? Sun reversed. I'm telling you, it was a Leo. You dealt with a Leo who's coming out Queen of Wands, who could also be King of Wands, doesn't matter, that lied and did some dirty stuff. If the truth is coming out, if they were doing anything to lie on you, spy on you, whatever, truth is coming out, truth is coming out everywhere I look. The truth is coming out and there's victory for you at the bottom of the deck. Look at that. Knight of Swords and the Six of Wands again. Another victory card. I don't know what happened to you, Cancer, or who this fire sign is. They're coming out as a strong Leo, but they could be Aries. They could be Sagittarius, but mostly Leo. They are also could possibly be Scorpio because I don't know what you're going to know them as, okay? They could be anyone. Let's face that. They could be another water sign. You know, they could be anyone. Just remember that. Okay, anyone. I give these signs out to those of you that want them. For those of you that want the sign, Scorpio and Leo are coming out the strongest as the person who did this, whatever they did to you. Something about they lied or did something to you that really did hurt you. There's a truth coming out or it has come out and you are getting, I mean, whatever this is, it puts you on the top of the pile. Like you become, you go from being so left for dead, seriously. You go from being queen of cups in reverse, emotionally exhausted, stuck in this murkiness because you are so exhausted in the eight of cups and feeling stuck in all this um because someone lied and did you dirty to um recovering from the ten of swords 
full speed ahead. You have victory everywhere. You had tw twice you had the um, six of wands and you have the chariot. I mean, these all say victory to me. You don't just have the wheel of fortune. You also have the world. This is huge. You don't just have the ace of swords. You also have the ace of pentacles. I believe you had it twice. I don't know where it went, but I swear you had it twice here. I mean, whatever happens here that changes, you have the Nine of Cups right there coming in. And remember, it came in with this very beautiful moon and it comes in with the uh, Four of Wands, the Ten of Cups, the Nine of Cups and the moon. This is like so romantic and sweet and loving. Even though someone lied about you, something comes through for you. And your night comes in for you. I swear there's like something happening here. I don't know what it is. But no matter what this is, it's happiness, it's joy, it's a new beginning, it's something totally victorious. I don't, look at all this victory. If this is internal self-victory, man, have you just really blossomed into something and someone like really amazing. Um, and you did it all yourself. Like you absolutely manifested all of this yourself while you were, um, you know, very internal. It was a very internal thing. Um, and if not, there's a, literally a king or knight of pentacles, I'm sorry, who's been coming, but he's been very slow to come in. Um, who's getting you out of all this. When he shows up, you're done stressing, you're done feeling betrayed, and you enter into the, all this beautiful romantic energy. So I don't know who this person is, but he looks pretty amazing if this is a person or if this is just your energy. I'm not really sure. Truth's coming out. You're going to feel so good about this, whatever it is. Guys, please do let me know what this is. I'm grabbing you some angel cards. Um, please comment down below. Is this all your own internal doing or is there literally a person about to come in? Maybe you don't know it yet because the moon's there. You might not see this person coming, but it, this person's coming in because you've risen your vibration so much. Um, this person up here, this fire sign person tried to destroy your, um, your reputation, your vibration, your whatever they did to you, it didn't work. It's not going to work. And they were unsuccessful. Um, you're about to um, show them what you're made of. <laughs> Good for you, Cancer. Let me get a couple of angel cards. Angels, what do we need to know for this reading, please? Give me a couple more. You got the blank one. A lot of people have been getting the blank one lately. Okay, so we're going to throw the blank one back and look at this. Clarity's coming in. I'm telling you some kind of truth and clarity is coming out. Page of Swords, Ace of Swords, Knight of Swords. This is all coming in for you. Um, transformation and Sisterhood, Brotherhood. I'm telling you, somebody's coming in. I don't know who this is. I don't know if it's the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles. So let's look at it this way. Do you know this person as, but whoever they are, I mean, they're coming in really nice for you. They're going to change everything for you. Are they an Aquarius? I'm I'm sorry. I don't know why I said Aquarius. Maybe. Are they a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or a Scorpio, or um, another Cancer, or a Pisces? I doubt Pisces. I don't see any Pisces. Um, transformation, Sisterhood, Brotherhood. I love both of these. Sisterhood, Brotherhood tells me that this is somebody from your soul tribe coming in. This could even be your twin flame coming in, or anyone who you have an important soul bond with transformations coming in. We already saw that. I pointed that out in this truth. When this truth comes out, everything transforms for you in your life. It's beautiful. I mean, it changes everything, everything. And it comes in with some kind of truth and clarity that comes in. I don't know if you get to speak this truth or if this person speaking this truth on your behalf, or if somebody just discovers what this um, queen of wands slash king of wands person, the wands person was doing. I don't know. I hope you guys will tell me. Please do comment down below. I love exchanging energy with you guys. And please don't forget to like the video. It helps the channel so much more than you know. And I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Have a great week. Talk to you soon. Bye.